Tonight, the U.S. Marshals need your help finding a fugitive they say shot at his own child and her mother in a car then shot his cousin a few months later. 7 Action News reporter Anne-Marie LaFlame has the hunt for this week's Detroit's Most Wanted. The most recent shooting happened right here on Christmas Eve when Reginald Davis is accused of shooting yet another loved one. But this time, the U.S. Marshals say he's actively calling and taunting police. Reginald Davis is who we're looking for this week. He has climbed his way up to our Detroit's Most Wanted. This guy's violent history stems back for years. Like a September shooting here on Whitcomb on the city's west side, when police say the mother of Reggie Davis's child came to discuss their daughter. They want to discuss child support. As she's approaching, he has a rifle in his hand. Um, once he became irate, he started shooting at her as she was walking, running away to her vehicle. Police say the woman screamed that their child was in the car, but that didn't stop Davis from shooting. From my understanding, it's five to six shots he got out. With his child in the car? With his child in the car. Fortunately, the woman and the child escaped and drove to the police station, and that's when the manhunt for Davis began. He has called our investigator saying, He's not surrendering, he's not coming in. Taunting police and then on Christmas Eve, police say he struck again. They were getting together, having a party. He goes down to the basement and talks to his cousin and demands the money that he owes him. Cousin said, I don't know what you're talking about. The second shooting happening here at a family party. Davis then pulls out his gun, shoots at the cousin, striking him in the leg and then flees the scene. Though Davis remains at large, the taunting continues with the marshals saying he called again just this week to tell them they won't be able to catch him. He's just got off probation earlier this year. He gets angry at the drop of a dime. He's around six foot one, 180 pounds. He has a tattoo across his neck uh, of his name, Reginald. The last time we heard he had braids, unknown if he shaved them off or not. Reginald Davis is 31 years old and from the west side of Detroit. This guy, you know, has proven to be violent against his own loved ones and family. You know, what's he going to do to somebody he hates? Track record proven and needs to go to jail. Now, as always, there's a cash reward for any information leading to the arrest of Reginald Davis or any of Detroit's most wanted. Now, because of the government shutdown, the U.S. Marshals are requesting you call tips into Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. On Detroit's West Side, I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News.